In chapter 4 we will discuss how to fly specifically for aerobotics. We will walk you through how to get your drone ready for a flight and how to make sure you are flying with the correct flight parameters in order to ensure your data collection is perfect. Firstly, remove your drone and microsense setup from your case. Make sure you put the correct propeller on the correct motor. Look to match the propeller with the black ring to the motor with the black dots and the propeller with the grey ring to the motor with the white triangles. Do the same for the other two motors. Next step is to turn on your battery. Make sure that your battery and all your other batteries are fully charged. Plug the battery in and make sure it is turned on. Next, turn on the console. Tap the power button once, release, then hold in. Remember to take the lens cap off your visual camera. Next, you will need to assess your surroundings to determine your flight parameters. Check the size of the trees, check the weather and check the elevation. Here the trees are about 2 meters tall so you'll need to fly at about 100 meters. You can find the flight heights on the Drone Partners website. For small trees you should fly at 80 meters, medium trees at 100 and 120 meters for trees over 3 meters. In terms of weather you can only fly in full sun or full cloud to ensure that there are no changes in light. If there are rolling clouds wait for them to pass. Then with elevation, make sure you fly from the highest point and split up flights if there is an elevation difference of more than 30 meters. Next you will need to make sure your drone is calibrated. Turn 360 degrees with the drone horizontal and do the same with the drone vertical. Make sure your microsense camera is on the light should be flashing green. Now you can set up your flight parameters on your flight planning app. Select the orchard that you would like to fly and create your flight path. Pull out the boundaries to make sure you have enough coverage. Often when the drone turns the microsense camera skips a photo so create a small buffer around the edges to make sure you have enough coverage. Especially on the corners. Then select which drone you are using. Select the parameters you wish to fly at. Select your hatch angle. Select your flight altitude. Make sure your overlap is set to 75%. And make sure your side lap is also set to 75%. And fly between 9 and 12 meters per second. Finally, make sure your white balance is set to your conditions. In this case, set it to sunny. And then finally, start your mission. The drone will fly to the first waypoint and then start taking visual images. Make sure you track all the images being captured to ensure photos are not being skipped. Once the drone returns home, switch off the phantom battery. It is also essential to make sure your microsense camera is still flashing green. If it is not flashing green, it means that the camera has turned off mid-flight and you will need to refly the orchard. 